Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Morrow. I'm the founder and principal designer of Morrow Design Studios, which is a residential and commercial interior design firm located in the DC area, but we serve clients nationwide. Today's video is actually gonna be a show and tell, and I'm gonna tell you then show you about a very basic interior design guideline called the 60-30-10 rule. It's an easy way to create a color palette for any space in your home that allows you to have balance and harmony in the space so you're not overdoing it with one color and instead the colors are evenly distributed so it looks like your space is intentionally and beautifully designed. But before we get into it, if you like interior design and entrepreneurship content, I invite you to hit that subscribe button below. On this channel, you're going to get interior design tips and tricks, plus some reveals of rooms in my home that I've designed, but you're also going to get very candid behind the scenes looks at entrepreneurship. I'm going to give y'all the real deal. So hit that subscribe button so you never miss a future video when it's published. Now let's talk about the 60-30-10 rule. And when I say rule, I use it lightly. 60-30-10 is considered a general guideline that allows you to split your colors up into three portions. The 60 represents your primary color, 30 represents your secondary color, and the 10 represents your accent color. Your primary is the color that you should select first when you're creating a color palette because it sets the tone for the rest of the style, look, and feel of the room. Typically, your primary color shows up in your larger pieces such as the color of your walls, a sofa, or an area rug. Your secondary color shows up in bigger accents like curtains or an accent chair and is usually found in 30% of the room. Then finally, you have your accent color, which is your 10%. Your accent color should complement your primary and secondary color, but it should also stand out from them a little bit because these are the accent pieces that are kind of like the ribbon on the design or the chef's kiss of your design. Usually this color shows up in your smaller accent pieces like a throw pillow, wall decor, or decorative accessory as like a coffee table look. A good way to think about it is that this color should show up in 10% of the room. Now, I'm gonna show you how I created a color palette using this 60-30-10 roll for my daughter's bedroom, which is a safari theme. So let's turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you my computer. Okay, so we're designing my daughter's room and the theme for her room is safari. So this is actually one of the first few steps that we take when we're designing a space for a client. We figure out what we want the overall theme of the space to be and then we look online for some inspiration photos and we use that to help us craft the concept and the design narrative. In this case, we're going with safari. So I found this beautiful photo of a safari online and now we're going to look at it to help us create the color palette for my daughter's room. So as I look at this, it's very obvious that green is the dominant color, which is perfect because it matches my vision for her room. I wanted green as her primary color. So now that I have this picture in Canva, what I'm gonna do is use Canva's amazing color dropper tool to help me create a color palette. So first, I'm gonna select a shape. I usually do a circle just because it's easier when you look at the whole color palette all together. Let me hide the toolbar. And then you go up here to this color box and then add a new color and you select this color dropper right here and you can tap any color in a picture and Canva will pick it up. So in the interest of time, I actually put her color palette together already using the color dropper tool, color dropper tool from Canva. This green, which you'll find in majority of this photo here is gonna be her primary color. And then this yellow, which you find right towards the middle of the picture is the secondary color and this beautiful blue that's throughout the sky is going to be her accent color. So I put all three of these together to help design her space and I am going to share how it looks. This is her, how her room is going to look. This is the design. Again, you'll see there's a lot of green here by way of the wallpaper, the curtains, even a little greenery wall. And then you're gonna see that yellow as the secondary color the yellow is showing up in the area rug. It's even showing up in the wallpaper. It's showing up on the wall that's across from the wallpaper. And then we sealed the deal with the light blue. And that's the chef's kiss of the space. So that is it for today's video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're inspired to create a color palette for any room in your home. If you guys ever have any questions, feel free to send me an email, jenna at moraldesignstudios.com. I'll also put it in the description below. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. And I will do a video in the future about how to design a room in your home beyond the color palette. What are the steps that come after that? But thank you so much for watching y'all and I will see you on the next video.